Hello, Hendrickson. It is time for our topic today, and we are going to be continuing to talk about food. Now, food is one of my favorite things to talk about. I love food, and I really enjoyed seeing all of your fantastic favorite food plates and your drawings of different fruits and vegetables last week. That was amazing. So we're going to continue with that today. We're going to be talking about different types of food and why they're so important. And we're also going to be talking about which foods are healthy, so healthy, healthy, and which foods are not healthy. They're non-healthy or unhealthy, unhealthy. So before we start anything, what I would like you to do, so I would like you to have a think. What food do you think is healthy? And what food do you think is unhealthy? Now, healthy means it's good for you. Unhealthy means it's not so good for you. So pause the video and can you tell an adult in the room or your brother or sister, someone else there, what food is healthy? So you could say, I think an apple is healthy. And can you tell them one thing that is not healthy? So you could say, I think chocolate is not healthy. Okay, so using those sentences. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, did you do that? Fantastic. Right, time for us to move on then. So, this is supposed to look round like a plate. And on there, you can see that there are different sections separated by the white lines in between. Now, what food can you see in there? What sort of things can you see? Can you shout them out for me? Oh, yes, I can see some milk as well. Anything else? Oh, a fish. Yes, I can. Oh, and a banana and a pineapple and some bread and some pasta, some eggs. Oh, has anyone spotted the Skittles? Can you see the Skittles on there? Fantastic. Now, these are all split up into different types of food groups. Do any of you know any of the names of the different food groups? Not sure? Well, I know, yes, some of you are saying that one is sweeties down there and you're absolutely right. But we're gonna go through and we're going to learn what the different food groups are and then we're going to explore them a little bit more this week. So the first one, this is fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Now, these are very, very healthy, very healthy and very important in our diet. What fruit and vegetables can you see in the picture? Can you spot the carrots? Point to the carrots if you can see them. Well done. How about the tomatoes? Well spotted. Now, there might be someone there that you don't recognize. Maybe you could go and find out which ones they are, especially that prickly one up in the top corner. I wonder if you can find out which one that is. So our first food group is fruit and vegetables. Fantastic. Next one. Oh, now this one is called protein. Protein. And proteins are normally meat and eggs and uh, nuts down there, okay? Protein. Next one. Next one is dairy products. Dairy products. Now a dairy product is something that's made from milk. So milk itself is a dairy product, but you could also have cheese and yogurts and other things like that. So these are dairy products. Okay. Next, we have these. This is a tricky word. You ready? Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Okay. Now, in these are, you can see, what can we see? We can see some bread, and we can see some pasta, and we can see some grains in there as well. These are carbohydrates. Fantastic. Oh, now this is probably some of your favorite ones. Probably the favorite, but unfortunately, 
It's not very good for you. This is the unhealthy section. So these are all the unhealthy. They're called fats and sugars. So what can you see on here that's very unhealthy? I spotted this. I spotted the chocolate straight away as well. You've got some chocolate. You've got chips. You've got Fanta and Coca Cola and ketchup and donuts and lots of sweets on there as well. They're not very good for you, are they? So now that we have gone through all of the different food groups, here is your challenge for today. The next time you have a snack, or it could be your lunch or even your dinner. What I would like you to do is I would like you to try and work with your mum or your dad, whoever does the cooking, and try and have one thing at least from all the different food groups on your plate. Now, it could be all as part of the main meal or it could be for your pudding as well. But I would like you to see if you can have something from every single group in your next meal. Take a picture of it and put it on tapestry for me. Now, if you haven't got everything, then that's okay, but maybe you could have a think about what you could have had instead. Now, don't forget to put that picture up on tapestry for me to see, and also for you to do your sentences for me to see as well. I look forward to seeing it there.